Hello, this video is an introduction to the Skypro platform. It is also the first in a series that covers all of its features and functions, so if you're looking for more information about a specific feature, take a look through our video playlist. When you first sign into the platform, you'll be on the Management Overview page. Here you'll find important reminders and notifications, such as the number of users that are waiting for their short answer questions to be graded. Clicking on one of these will expand the panel and allow you to take action. You will also see some high-level metrics here. While not as detailed as what you'll find in the reporting section, it's still enough to give you a good idea of how your users are doing in their training. On the right, you'll find the quick action links. Clicking on these will take you directly to commonly accessed parts of the platform, such as the course creation page or weekly course completion reports. Click on the cog icon at the top to open the settings panel. The branding and customization area will let you white label the platform to match your company's look by changing the colors, logo, and more. System configuration houses the majority of your platform-wide settings. These include settings like your platform language and time zone, custom course completion certificates, custom email notifications, and your course selling options. Most settings will also have detailed descriptions below them, allowing you to know exactly what each one does. The Learner UI settings page allows you to customize what your learners see when they log in. With settings that allow you to change what widgets are displayed, the order they're found in, and more, your learner's experience can be completely customized from this area. User Properties lets you modify the information fields that are found on your user profiles with both pre-formatted options, such as countries or states, or with your own custom values. The Security and Compliance area contains settings related to platform security, such as automatic logouts after certain periods of inactivity, password requirements, and two-factor authentication. Moving over to the Training Elements section, we have Materials first. This area is where all of your course content is housed. For the most part, you can just drag and drop your files from your desktop onto the page and they'll be uploaded. Clicking on Add Material will provide you with a few additional options, such as building content within the platform, adding YouTube or Vimeo videos, and embedding links from external websites. Additionally, this is the only way that you can upload SCORM 1.2 or AICC packages. You can also create folders and subfolders to keep all of your content organized. Next, we have Assessments. Also found in Training Elements, this is where you go to create assessments to test your learners. Just click Create Assessment and give it a name. We support multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, and short answer questions. The Random Question Bank allows you to create questions under different categories. You can then add a question category to your assessment and the platform will insert a randomly chosen question from the category each time the assessment is attempted. This allows you to ensure that no two assessment attempts will be the same. The General Settings tab contains all the settings you'll need to customize your testing experience, such as the required grade for passing, how long a learner can spend on the assessment, and how many attempts they are allowed. Next are Checklists. These are lists of tasks or items that can be graded as either yes or no, or on a scale of 1 to 5. You'll just have to click on the Create button to add one. Once added, click on the New Task button. This will allow you to add a task, as well as any subtasks that fall below it. Don't forget to click Create Task once you're done. Now that there's content in the platform, you can build a course. This is done by clicking on Training, then on Courses. Use the Create Course button to create one. In the Course Content tab, use the Add Items to this Course drop-down menu to add the content. Each of the course modules can be reordered by dragging and dropping, and you can also apply module-specific settings, such as time requirements, using the Notepad icon. Enabling Enforce Module Sequence makes learners work through the modules in order from the top down. Moving to the General Settings tab, here we have course-specific settings that you can apply, such as whether the course awards learners with a certificate upon completion, specify recurring training windows, and set the course length. The Users and Groups tab is where you can enroll users into your course, as well as see a list of all of the currently enrolled learners and their course statuses. Learning Paths, also found under Training, are collections of full courses, each with their own set of modules. By combining multiple courses together into a learning path, you can easily enroll learners into structured training curriculums. However, before you can enroll users into training, you'll first need to add them to your platform. 
This is done in the Users and Groups area. Clicking on Users will take you to the Users page. Here you'll be able to add users using the Add Users button or register multiple people at once using a CSV template, accessible by clicking on the Bulk User Management button. Once you have users in your platform taking your course, you'll need to be able to run reports to see how they're doing. This is all done in the reporting area. Click on Reporting, then select Report Builder. Follow the prompts, such as whether you want to run a user report or a course report, and you'll be able to preview or download the report once it has been generated. With this, you should be able to create your first course, as well as enroll your learners into their training. As previously mentioned, if you want more in-depth information about the features and functions of the Skyper platform, you can take a look at our other videos.